Hey YouTubers, this is a P3000 from Ventec uh, video installation on a 2018 Honda Ridgeline. I already own the revolver back uh, from Back Industry and the two are supposed to go together. Um, so far so good. I installed the one side here on the left and seems like it is working. So I'll give you a little bit of, uh, of instructions on the right side here as I learned a few little things on the installation doing the left side. Um, I already have the, the track for the uh, revolver so those needs to be move out of the way a little bit. So those two Allen screws here, um, rem you can just loose them up and there's two in the front you can remove those in uh, completely so you can actually take the track out uh, of the uh, plastic uh, and then you uh, remove this little cap underneath and you installed the track with this screw here on this side um, on this track the the hole was too small so i actually had to drill it which on the other side was perfect. So the hole is 11 64 if you do have to drill it. And when you align the track, I don't know if you can see, but the dirt line from the uh, tonneau cover is where the uh, track should line up. So it is not quite as close on the on the, on the front that it is on the back so there's a little bit and that will align your uh, your bolt pattern with the uh, the truck okay so so now trying to do this with one hand all right Already marked, already marked my uh, my plastic. So after you remove this, you will basically slide this plastic backward. Just open up here, and then you just lift it up. There you go, and remove that. Now you need to just drill your holes on the uh, on the plastic. So for those, I start with a uh, five five thirty two, and then I go up to a five sixteen for the holes. I'll be right back. So I drill the holes. Uh, 516 the other thing uh, I don't know if it's somewhere in the instructions but the plastic cap here that goes back what I did on the other side is I basically just put it back on the cover and I drilled from the underside with the uh, 532 drill bit There you go. So this way when you put the rack you can have this cap on so you don't leave it open. So now the other thing that I did I forgot is um, I took the hardware and I made sure that all my hardware would go in nice and smooth. I actually had a little bit of issues on one side. Maybe it's just uh, paint. 
build up in the uh, in the tread. Actually, this side is going in pretty easy. Those are all good. All right. So now the plastic goes back on. Basically, reverse. Make sure you push it. And then it just go forward. There you go. So that's in place. And then this goes back. Oh yeah, before that, almost forgot the uh, weather strip. You need to install the weather strip underneath. And on the weather strip, because because the um, the the rack is actually um, going up on this a little bit, I move the weather strip. If you flip this like this, I move the weather strip towards the inside. So there's basically no weather strips, and the rack is going to be sitting right on top. I'm sorry if the lighting is uh, not super good. I'm in the, the shade. Um, would be like riding right on top of this a little bit. It's a tight fit. So, so, um, so uh, yeah, for the weather strip. So I'll just do that and uh, we'll be back. So I installed the weather strip. I'm trying to get a better uh, bit of view on this it's actually a little bit it's actually a little bit on the uh, on the left side there's I don't know if you guys can see it but it's offset a little bit so when you flip it it's gonna give room for this other part there so screw goes back sorry Screw goes back here. And just just putting a little hole in the weather strip and we'll see if our holes align the way they should be This one seems to be off a little bit. This one is right in. This one is good. This one is good. This one should be good. And there you go. So basically, just 
and then the thread. Okay, so the next step is to put back put back the Allen keys there and there, and then you have it. Uh, we'll get back with the next step. Okay, so I just tighten all the the screws bolts everything is is good and if you look i don't know if you can see if you look down here it's a little bit higher on one side than the other uh, hopefully it won't change any uh too much the angle to uh interfere with the uh, the rack installation but so far so good hopefully it works so i have to uh reinstall this tonal cover and I'm going to work on the legs and uh, if there's anything uh, that pops up I'll uh, I'll try to get back to give you guys some input on that okay so according to this this one is pretty much like right in the middle which I don't have any but with the length this one is a uh, is the s112 which is the one and a quarter and then you have the s101 which is uh, an inch and then you have four of those which those are the so3 and and then those eight uh, three quarter inch length are the S111. So for this one is the S101. So it'll be this one here. And so for that, I put the longer here uh, because of the part that's coming. It's the L bracket, the corner bracket that's going to be holding so this and basically this goes on top Just reverse let's go this way there go. like this and then you got the the bracket that goes from here to here so i'll just attach everything loosely and also on the leg itself you have the S12 that goes in the middle and you have the S111 which is the eight of them and those looks like they're screwing here and another one here it's threaded for that so i'll install this and uh, we'll be right back so on the bottom of the uh, foot here the front one it's the second one i'm doing but the front one you basically do it by hand this one try to make it straight the second one here is this is hand tight and it's off you know it needs to be turned a quarter round quarter turn more so I actually had to use a um, pliers to turn that to make it even and then you have this one here with the knob so from here when it's installed you can slide it and you can hide it in place here so this is the front one that's going to be going all the way to the front um, you want 
this part to be as far as possible and then the other one so this way you have a better uh, distance anyway it's in the instructions so i'll adjust the uh, the other one and we'll be right back okay like i said um you know you put the three plates with the knobs here slide this what i did is i put both bracket well, they move now but i put both bracket at the end of the track and then i installed the upper bar center it you have to, to have the same distance on both sides then i tied it this one tied this one first then this one after both side and then install the brace here uh, this one went in and the other one was not and i actually flipped it and it worked so there the angle is different here and here so if if it's not working it's because it's flipped i thought it would be the same and so i just need to tighten those two here to there and I'll be able to slide this whole thing out but that's pretty much what I found out while installing it and we'll keep going see if we have any more surprises or things to find out to help you guys all right interesting story after the ridge line because I had the uh, previ previous generation with the slanted uh, bed um, I thought that the tracks and then there was an angle going that way with the track on the old generation and I thought that this one would be straight front and back but it's actually not I'm actually 61 and a, and a half on the front and I'm actually 60 and a half so about an inch difference from the front and the back so that means that if you want to slide your rack back and forth, you actually have to remove, uh, loosen up the screws in the, on the top there. Also, this one here, this one here actually tighten this so you're not just relying on this little knob here. So this has to be loose. Those have to be loose and this one, everything has to be loose sorry everything here has to be loose to adjust the height on this because it's it's angled so as you go down then this moves forward or backward on the track so you have to it's not like a simple adjustment the other thing is I put it on the highest setting for my kayaks to have a little bit of room and on the highest setting this whole thing I don't know if you can see it but it's wobbling because I guess yeah the, the it's only to here so I'm gonna have to bring it down to get a little bit more strength so I'm a little disappointed by that I don't know any other way to solve this issue maybe if i maybe if i bring those in to like kind of like push on it actually i'm gonna try this to see if uh, if it does help so i installed the uh, the back one and i didn't tighten this yet this is loose this is loose it's on a lowest set setting and I mean, I'm moving the truck. This is super strong. So I'm gonna tighten this. I did um, use uh, an adjustable wrench to adjust the uh, the plates. At the beginning, I tight, tightened them by hand and I believe they need a little bit more. So that could be an issue. I will change that and uh, revisit the uh, the highest setup to see if it's still wobbly or work with it a little bit but on the lower setting i'm super happy um, 
so far I'm, I'm happy with the product um, it's my second uh, purchase with Ventec. I uh, used their rack before for many years and uh, I was very happy with, uh, with the performance of the rack. So we'll do a couple adjustments and we'll be back. Okay, so the back one was on the lower setting. It was working fine. The front one was wobbly. So I moved it to the back just a little bit easier to work. Plus I'm in, I'm in the shade. Um, I tighten, like I was talking about, I tighten the, 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 the retaining plates underneath. Uh, they were they were too loose and um, and I just center it and then just tight all the bolts and it's on the highest setting still and I mean it's not moving the whole truck is moving so whatever happened before I believe was because of those um, were not you know tighten where they needed to be um, so super happy with it it is uh, it is good so I will finish my installation and I will get back with you after the tunnel cover is installed just to make sure that it's still working with this old system so talk to you in a little bit okay so I was playing with the adjustment for the height because I was not high, it's sitting here on the front and on the back, I'm on the lower setting. And uh, as I was bringing it down to the lower setting to match the, the back, I got stuck here. It wouldn't go down anymore. So what I found out is that the track system that they have is the same. I'm sorry, got my hand away. The track system they have here with the plate and the boat attachment that's what's behind here it's the same so the bar underneath here with the track goes to about here right now so if you go higher that flat bolt comes out of this track and becomes very difficult when you go back down to put it back in the track you have to play with the whole thing wiggle it to get the the plate to go back in the in a slot here inside so if you want to avoid that basically not going on those three settings to go higher so go one two three four five the fifth setting after that that bolt here will get off the uh, the track and then if you want to go back down are you gonna have a little bit of a challenge to put that back in so other than that I mean it's it's working good but it, it is a constant adjustment if you want to play if you put it and leave it in the same spot it's fine but if you planning on or thinking you're going to be moving this thing back and forth because you want to remove it off the truck or adjust it height wise and all that it's it's some work but that's it so hope you enjoy if you have any questions let me know I'll try to answer the best I can thanks bye